Good morning. Scientists at multiple locations around the globe affiliated with the LIGO project just simultaneously made a monumental announcement. They said they've now detected gravitational waves, which were predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity. We'd hope to get you some video of the announcement, but the scientists were so excited that they were still talking and the live feed was still going on when we started this live broadcast. But I can tell you that gravitational waves are ripples in the fabric of space-time. They're created in some of the most powerful events of our universe, such as supernovas, the collisions of neutron stars, and the mergers of black holes. They travel at the speed of light, and they can pass through anything, so they carry unaltered information about the events that cause them. And that's why being able to detect them is a huge deal, because gravitational waves are going to let scientists look at the universe in a whole new way. And this morning, scientists were comparing this new ability to detect gravitational waves uh, by LIGO to Galileo's first use of a telescope 400 years ago. So that's why it's so exciting. When we have a new way of looking at the universe, we can count on unexpected discoveries and unanticipated marvels. LIGO is the world's premier observatory for detecting these elusive waves. It originally went online in 2002, and its first observing run lasted until 2010. Um, and during that time, it detected exactly zero gravitational waves. But that wasn't terribly surprising because these waves are very, very faint. And uh, the volume of space um, by, uh, by able to be seen by LIGO in its first observing run uh, was smaller than it is today. So what happened is that the LIGO scientists um, increased the sensitive, upgraded their instrumentation, and they increased the sensitivity of their instruments by 10 times. And that meant that advanced LIGO could detect gravitational waves from a volume of space a thousand times greater than before. At advanced LIGO's current level of sensitivity, we should be seeing several gravitational wave events every year. But scientists by nature are cautious people. They weren't going to announce uh, a gravitational wave detection until they were absolutely sure. And now they are sure. So this discovery, by the way, confirms the last big prediction of Einstein's theory of general relativity. Einstein's theory drives much of our current cosmology, our picture of the universe as a whole. And this year marks the 100th anniversary of its publication in 1916. So that might be one of the reasons that the LIGO scientists waited until today to make their announcement. That's all for now. Talk to you Monday.